Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Space Marines. When we last left off, we got we've got to well where we need to be roughly on a train, and then because some orcs were having fun with a giant gun, we dropped it on top of them. So yeah, now we're gonna have to quickly get through this area to push break the siege. They left them. If orcs pop out, we have to stop them. Because if they find their way in here, they will overrun them. Ooh. New toy. Oh, power axe. <laughs> it's the improved version of the power sword. Nice little health up. I need the health. This is like slaughter. Yeah, I just I can just do an instant um execution with that left mode. Oof, close. Wow, I can kill even him? The phrase, I just... This thing is awesome. Space guards. They find live guns. Corporal Antioch? Yes, my lord. We have word that an inquisitor is in the Manifestorum. Yes, Lord Drogon. We have not seen him for several days. Drogon. Well, inquisitors are actually as hard as you guys. My lord. The fleet is still en route, Corporal. The Ultramarines are here as a vanguard. Cripple the enemy and secure the most valuable asset. I see. But the facility and its titans remain secure. All I can say for certain is that no orc has breached this gate, my lord. Contact Lieutenant Mira. Her unit is establishing a bastion in Hav Center Andres, and your support craft now have a viable approach for Morgan. What of the Colonel and his staff? They did not survive. Yes. It's very important to establish that the colonel. Here we are, my lord. My thanks, Corporal. Oi, pick up my clean guardsmen. Yeah, they fire little las pistols, las guns. <laughs> what they are 
not doing their job, which is to keep this area secure by keeping by keeping the orcs out. And yes, this is indeed a factory. No, but these really big assault cannons will. I mean, if all else fails, falling back and letting these things have at them, they'll mulch them. No, I'll get to chapter 6. We killed a lot of dudes just to get to chapter 6. But this is how Warhammer should be. Wading in, Space Marines wade in, hundreds of dudes against them, and they just mo and they just march through them. And yes, it does look like we have jetpacks on our back. They are, in fact, power packs. Yeah, and if the orcs hit them, hit the right spot, or dropped on the right spot, without enough guys to manufacture to uh, man it, they'll never get that thing up and running. But if that thing decided to march forward and start shooting the, the orcs, they would very quickly push the orcs off planet. Station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life sign. Do so. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Order Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. That thing alone could tear someone in half. The large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. Time to start make fitting those numbers. I mean, they may not go through the gate, but they could have slipped through us. And if they've killed off the staff, no one's there to set that, get that thing up and running. You keep saying that, but I don't believe you. I'm not entirely sure anyone here believes you either. I'm going to pick up and see if I play it. Hold to listen. That's true. Be dutiful. Quite right on that. They have a great chance of getting killed on the assembly lines. These places, while um, sort of advanced, are death traps. And a good chance you'll be killed on the assembly line by, by a machine than the actual than someone actually shooting you. That's why I wasn't too concerned about an orc invasion. It's like, we love them borrowed time to begin with. Deptus Mechanicus. Marine, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solidus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out. Get on, boys. 200 plus Space Marines. 
fucking army of orcs, get rid of them. There's actually an army of orcs here, but there's it's like a bigger army of orcs. Well, we've got a lot of bullets, I don't have to fire them yet. That's about to change. It's because they don't have AIs to do things for us. They're considered evil after the um, one did a massacre. I just cut off the number we could get out again. Somewhere there'll be another orc trying to put the pipe open. Orcs from where? Orcs! They couldn't get through the gate, so instead, they rather craftily have come, come in through the pipe system. The green tide is very hard to stop. But we'll do our best to do so. Thing. No, I thought like holy scripture next to everything. That's because they believe it's all holy. We have loaded blasters and we have bolters and we have none to shoot. They didn't time that correctly so it was coming down to here. But, no, was enough. A large number of green skins. Well, I haven't thought any, I thought a few. And not much else, to be honest. Space Marines here. I am Drogon, and you are Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call, but you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source is running the entire manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon. It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. How bad? Need it for safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. <laughs> I'm a psyker. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. Psychic are dangerous. But they're powerful. Having one on your side is very useful. Here they come. Oh, all bosses back.
break. Didn't break. Yeah, you hit them like that, they go they stun when they, they break your chunk, they break the rage. Ooh, bullets. Oh, we got to get bullets. Yeah, but turn on bullets. I am a walking battering ram. Sometimes they do blunder. Yes. Thank you. Plasma pistol is a damn sight better than a, than a bolt bolter. It's essentially a little firing pi bit of plasma. It's awesome. It overheats, but um pew 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 pew. I think I'll speak. How are the same lift that they're coming out of? I'm going round. Uh oh, a weird boy. Weirdy. You didn't knock my shield, you did all you had to hit something. You don't have to hit me over the head with it. People. Everyone on. There we go. They're the weedy boy. They are orc psychers. But sometimes they just plain explode. Yes, that's a thing. They sometimes explode on their own. They build up so much energy that they kind of make other orc head pops. Didn't you just say the whole thing with plan would explode if they were off? It's nippy. It's a tad on the nippy side in here. Let's see if we can hit another checkpoint before the end of the video. Come on, I'm gonna go. Checkpoint. Thank you. 
my kill. Checkpointed. Right, when we come back, folks, um, we need to go get the power source, which apparently is a giant bomb. Yay! But hey, we're space marines, we can handle it. It's at least freezing cold in here, so there's that. Anyway, that's all for next time, so until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya!